Welcome to this lecture about the Poisson distribution. In this video, we'll have a look at the basics of the Poisson distribution with some simple examples. We'll then see how the shape of the distribution changes as a function of the mean. Finally, we'll compare the Poisson distribution with the Norman distribution. The Poisson distribution is a discrete distribution that can be used to calculate the probability of a given number of independent events occurring in a fixed time interval or a defined space. What you see here is an example of a Poisson distribution with a mean of 5. A Poisson distribution is a discrete distribution since k can only take a discrete set of values. Note that I only plotted the bars for which k goes from 0 to 10, but the distribution continues to infinity. However, the heights of these bars are approximately equal to zero, since they are far away from the mean. Note that the sum of all the probabilities, or the heights of all the bars, is equal to one. Suppose that this distribution represents the number of car accidents in a certain city per year. K therefore represents the number of car accidents in a city during one year. Since the mean of this distribution is set to 5, we know that, on average, about 5 car accidents happen in a city each year. Suppose we like to know the probability that 2 car accidents happen in a city during one year. Since the height of this bar is approximately 0.08, we know that the probability that exactly 2 car accidents will happen during one year is about 8%. To get a more exact value, we can use the following probability mass function. Where lambda is the average number of events, and E is the Euler's number that is approximately equal to 2.718, and K takes whole values between 0 and positive infinity. And this is the factorial of K. Let's use this function to calculate the height of this bar that represents the probability that k is equal to 2. We therefore set k equal to 2. And since the mean of this distribution is 5, we set lambda to 5. If we do the calculations, we see that the probability is equal to about 8.4%. This value corresponds to the height of this bar. The probability that exactly two car accidents happen in a city during one year is therefore about 8.4%. Let's calculate the probability that exactly six car accidents happen in a city during one year. We therefore change the value of k from two to six. After some calculations, we see that the probability of observing exactly six car accidents during one year is approximately equal to 14.6%. This value corresponds to the height of this bar. Here are other examples that can be modeled by a Poisson process. The number of new cancer patients per year. The number of lymph nodes with metastatic cancer cells the number of plants of a given species found in a certain area, and the number of phone calls per day. Note that the counts can be obtained based on a certain area, as well as within a certain time frame. We will here have a closer look at an example of metastatic lymph nodes. When cancer cells from the primary tumor start to spread to other parts of the body, it is called metastasis. Metastatic lymph nodes are lymph nodes that contain cancer cells that have spread from the primary tumor. In this example, one has detected two metastatic lymph nodes. The human body contains about 500 lymph nodes. The number of metastatic lymph nodes is an important prognostic factor as it is associated with the progression of the cancer disease. 
Let's assume that numeral metastatic lymph nodes at a given time point in cancer patients is Poisson distributed with a mean of 3.8. This means that on average the cancer patients have 3.8 metastatic lymph nodes. Since we know that the mean is equal to 3.8, we can draw the following distribution if we calculate the probabilities for a range of different values of k. For example, we can calculate the probability of finding four metastatic lymph nodes in a cancer patient by setting k equal to 4 and lambda to 3.8. We see that the probability of observing exactly four metastatic lymph nodes is about 19%, which corresponds to the height of this bar. If we instead set k equal to 3, we see that the probability of observing three metastatic lymph nodes is equal to about 20%. We'll now calculate the probability of observing maximum one metastatic lymph node, which is the sum of the probability of finding either one or no metastatic lymph nodes. The probability of observing one metastatic lymph node is about 8.5% and the probability of observing no metastatic lymph nodes is about 2.2%. The probability of observing one or no metastatic lymph nodes is therefore the sum of these two probabilities, which is about 11%. Similarly, we can calculate the probability of observing at least two metastatic lymph nodes. We can calculate this probability by summing all the probabilities for which k is equal or greater than 2. However, we would then need to sum the probabilities for all possible values of k that are greater than 1, which will include an infinite number of k values. An easier way to calculate this is simply to calculate 1 minus the probability the k is less than 2, since we know that the sum of all the probabilities should be equal to 1. The probability of observing two or more metastatic lymph nodes is therefore 1 minus the sum of the probability of observing one or no metastatic lymph nodes. The probability of observing two or more metastatic lymph nodes is therefore about 1 minus 11%, which is 89%. We'll now have a look at the characteristic shape of the Poisson distribution. The shape of the Poisson distribution changes when its mean is changing. If the mean value is greater than 10, the Poisson distribution looks a lot like the normal distribution. However, if we would move the normal distribution to the left, which means that we reduce its mean, the normal distribution will allow for negative numbers. Since the Poisson distribution cannot have negative numbers, its shape will start to change if the mean value is getting closer to zero. Imagine that all possible negative numbers from the normal distribution would be converted to zeros or values close to zero. Then the shape would look something like this. The shape of the Poisson distribution therefore becomes skewed to the right when its mean is getting closer to zero. Let's consider the following Poisson distribution with a mean of 10. Its shape reminds a lot of the normal distribution. If the mean is reduced to 9, the shape becomes slightly skewed and no longer looks symmetric. If we continue to reduce the mean to 8, the distribution is even more skewed. If we continue to reduce to 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1, we get a highly skewed distribution, which reminds a lot of an exponential distribution. The reason why you get this skewed distribution is that a lot of values accumulate around 0, since no negative values are allowed. Another important feature of the Poisson distribution 
is that its variance is equal to its mean. For example, if the mean of the Poisson distribution is 9, then its variance is also equal to 9, and the corresponding standard deviation is the square root of 9. And if the mean of a Poisson distribution is 36, its variance is also equal to 36, and the corresponding standard deviation is therefore 6. Note that its spread becomes bigger and bigger when the mean gets bigger and bigger. Since the variance increases for larger means, the height of the peak will be reduced. Let's summarize this lecture by comparing the Poisson distribution to the normal distribution. A Poisson distribution is usually used to model count data, which can only take whole values, whereas the normal distribution is usually used to model continuous data. The Poisson distribution is a discrete distribution defined from zero to positive infinity. Whereas the normal distribution is continuous, they may also include negative numbers. The shape of the Poisson distribution is dependent on its mean. Whereas the normal distribution is always symmetric and bell-shaped. However, for large mean values, the Poisson distribution is also symmetric since most values are far away from zero. The variance and the mean is the same parameter in the Poisson distribution since its mean is equal to its variance. In contrast, the mean and the variance are modeled by two independent parameters in the normal distribution. Since count data tend to spread more for larger values and cannot be negative, the Poisson distribution is more appropriate than the normal distribution for modeling this type of data. In the next lecture, we'll have a look at how the Poisson distribution is used in Poisson regression.